You can't create a quality of outcome. What gives a DEI program the right to come in and, and try and alter the nature of things to create a quality of outcome. So, That's been tried. That didn't work. That was called Marxism. This woman right here is everything that's wrong with our country. I've worked for 13 different companies throughout the course of my career. Uh -huh. And what I have seen is that employee engagement increases, employees care about diversity programs, Candidates care. I'm coming from a, a recruiting background. Candidates ask about diversity, equity, and inclusion, uh, and it is important to them. There have been studies on Glassdoor uh, that have shown that uh, a good percentage of people will not accept an offer with a company that doesn't have intentional DEI programs and initiatives. Goodness gracious, lady, 13 different jobs. Are you kidding me? Um, hello? At what point do you stop, look in the mirror and say, hey, something I'm doing ain't right. Maybe I should get away from this whole race narrative thing. Not saying it's all her fault, even though it probably is, but working for 13 different companies, y'all, that's not normal where I come from. Maybe it is for you, but maybe, just maybe, there's a negative correlation between her rhetoric versus the actual job description. What they're required her to do versus what she's bringing to the table. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that her butt was fired from most of those jobs, and all of us can see why. <laughs> Talk to me, Pastor. All right. Okay, so... Pre uh, preach on, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, a few things. If, if DEI works anywhere, it has to work everywhere. Let me tell you where DEI does not work. The NBA and the NFL. Let's, where, where are the Asian... Latino and Hispanic basketball and football players. Where are the black guys in the National Hockey League? Those, those, those businesses are performance-based. It really comes down to, Dr. Phil, the issue of justice. And if you really want to go deep to the heart of this, and when I say that DEI treats the symptom but not the sickness, America is in a new civil war right now. The first civil war was the North versus the South. The new civil war is a war of ideologies concerning justice. And it's really going to come down to who gets to define what justice is, whether that's biblical justice or social justice. When moral law stands alone and, and DEI initiatives are based upon that, somebody gets to pretend that they are God. Let me ask you, yeah. what do, we talk about diversity, equity, and inclusion. What is the definition of equity? Great question, and I think we confuse equity with equality. And uh, equality means that everybody is treated the same. And equity means that we need to look at, for example, there's a great uh, visual of a short person and a tall person, and they're both looking over a fence, and they have the same block to stand on. And the tall person, of course, can see over the fence, but the short person has not been lifted up enough to see over the fence. And so when we're talking about diversity, equity, and inclusion, we're talking about the fact that some demographics come to the table and have to overcome racism, unconscious bias, misogyny. Uh, and so how do we help level the playing field for everyone? What's wrong with you people? Do y'all think she even realizes how ridiculous she sounds justifying this nonsense? Never mind the fake smile that she's putting on. Anyone with an ounce of discernment should be able to spot straight through that pandering BS. But it's like this woke mind virus has captured her and an entire culture's brains and any sort of logic that might have been present before has been completely lost to these masqueraded virtue signals. The left has weaponized this divisive racial narrative to hijack the core values of our country. You know, the ones that were written back in 1776 that say all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Now, I know things weren't perfect back then, but we don't live in those times anymore. Nothing is ever going to be perfect outside of Jesus Christ, but things are sure a whole lot darn better these days. Every single one of us legal American citizens have those rights, and even some of these illegals get more rights than we do. So cut the crap and hire the best person for the job. It's really that simple. Not the person with the, the best tan or the certain body part. Hire the person that is the most well-qualified, that put in the time, effort, sacrifice, blood, sweat, and years to earn that position. Problem solved. Okay, so that means you're trying to create a quality of outcome. Mm -hmm. 
That's what I hear you saying about playing God. Yeah. How, do you, how do you create a quality of outcome uh, when people well, aren't you, the same? You're right, some people are shorter, some yeah. people are taller looking over that fence. They can't both play in the NBA. Right. You can't create a quality of outcome. What gives a DEI program the right to come in and, and try and alter the, the nature of things to create a quality of outcome. So, That's been tried, that didn't work. That was called Marxism. What I would say is that, you know, I've been recruit in the recruiting space for 25 years. And the way we have done recruiting traditionally uh, relies heavily on things like networks, uh, um, referral programs, and so who, who are we going to refer? We're gonna refer the people that we know who are uh, in our neighborhoods or uh, who play golf uh, with the CEO. And so you start to have a population in your organization that looks very much the same. And so what I'm advocating for is more intentional programs that reach a broader audience. All the more reason for merit. If you apply to or stick to meritocracy, it doesn't matter whether somebody is playing golf with the CEO or not. It's about matching those values, those skills that are necessary for the job. Your, your argument proves that we do need meritocracy. At the end of the day, you know what this is about? It's about control. It's about power. It's, it's about a power control. Grab. First off, nothing but respect to all three of these guys for dishing out the truth, for nailing every single point and not deviating away and, and straying into this land of caring about everybody's triggered feelings. They didn't just pander to these social constructs that have been created, surrounded by race and this, this these woke narratives and ideologies. No, they stuck to the facts and told that woman exactly what she needs to hear. They told her what reality is. And we got to talk about the doc. My man, Dr. Phil, since leaving his regularly scheduled mainstream program, he has made a complete 360 and I love it. God bless him for finally living based in reality. And I've honestly become a fan these past few months. The fact that Oprah isn't in control and able to puppet him around anymore, pushing these leftist lies, it's a game changer. Now you can tell when you watch him that he's speaking from a place of sincerity for what he truly believes and knows is right. And I'm sure most of you watching would agree that DEI isn't right at all. Personally, whenever I hear it, I don't think diversity, equity, and inclusion because it's anything but that. How about didn't earn it or discrimination, exclusion, and intimidation. Those would be more accurate than the slogan that they got going on. It's one big giant lie that's been promoted as being an anti-racism solution, but instead it's still racist. It's just flipped against the big bad white people. It's all a bunch of hot garbage that needs to be tossed out because we are all part of the one race, the one blood that God created, human being. And that woman, she's supposed to be a human resources leader, not a race hustler. So stop with all the melanin content talk. Stop trying to take us back in history. Slavery and segregation has been atoned for. It's not 1860 or 1960, it's 2024. Folks need to quit wasting their time and all this money on these racial ideologies. And one last thing, if you live in America, you're an American. There's no need to put African or some other country in front of that because 99% of the people that say and do that, they've never even been across the pond. You're born and bred here. You're not born in Africa or born in India or China or any of that. Be proud to rep the USA and stand up for the nation that gives us all the opportunity opportunity in the world to prosper for anyone willing to work for it. The home of the free because of all the brave men and women, all different creeds and backgrounds and different skin tones have fought and died to give us the luxuries that we enjoy to fight and die to end slavery back in the day because it was wrong. Unite, truly come together. I'm sick of all this nonsense, but I'll end my little rant there. I'd love to hear your thoughts on all of this. Drop a comment below saying God bless America if you made it to this point in the video and let's keep the conversation rolling. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already ring that notification bell so you get notified anytime i post a new video if you like what i'm doing over here and you want to show a little extra love and support make sure you go check out our website down below in the description section that way you can get all the awesome shirts you see me wearing in every single video they're all made by my beautiful wife this one says created with a purpose it has it on the chest and on the sleeve it's based on ephesians 2 verse 10 i like mine a little baggy so it seems a little extra room to move and groove but we got all different sizes ranging from itty bitty extra small to big big and hefty five 
Vex, a bunch of colors, different designs, all of that. I'm sure you can find something that you like or a great gift for someone that you love. Outside of that, you can always join the Gibson family here on YouTube and become a member. You can buy me a coffee. You can join the Patreon family. All those links are down below as well. By no means do you have to do any of that. Just showing up and allowing my freckle face to rant at you for a few minutes. I am greatly appreciative. I love y'all. I cannot thank you enough. Until next time, I'll be praying for you. Godspeed. I'm gone.